What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I am so excited because we are going to be doing my Amazon favorites. These are like my Amazon must-haves. I spend way too much time and way too much money on Amazon, but at least I've gone through the trials and tribulations because I got a ton of bad stuff on Amazon as well, but this is all going to be the good stuff, the stuff that I've gotten on Amazon that I love, that I literally use like every single day. Like all of this stuff I'm using all the time and they're all super, super affordable. So I'm going to break everything down for you guys today. Like you guys didn't even know that you needed this stuff. But now after this video, you guys won't be able to live without it. Like I'm telling you, it's so, so good. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you have not already and click the little bell right next to the subscribe button to be notified of all of my future uploads. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so my first favorite, I can't believe it took me so long to buy one of these. This is a facial steamer okay i am obsessed with this little guy it literally brings like a spa experience to your house and for some reason in my mind i always thought that steamers were like expensive like super super pricey and i'm like mm, okay like if i go to get a facial like at like a place then i'll get steamed but like at home it is what it is but then i saw these on amazon they're like 20 bucks i was like oh my gosh like i need it i'm pretty sure i paid like 22 dollars for this shipping was free and i use this all the time probably at least once per week like during my pamper routine when i really like to pamper my skin super super easy to use so you basically just put the water in this little um, charger thing in the back here. It's like a little compartment. And then you do have to plug it in. So I'm going to plug it in so I can show you guys. All right, so I plugged it in. I'm just going to press the button. It does take a second to like heat up. But it's great for really softening your skin and opening up your pores. You know, if you ever go somewhere to like get a facial, like at a spa or something, nine times out of ten, always going to steam you because that's really going to help your skin to accept whatever you're putting on top of it. So I love to use this all the time to really open up my pores, steam my face. It also just feels really nice. Um, but you guys will see the steam is starting to come out. It's not like super, super hot either you can get your face pretty close to it um, but it definitely is warm but yeah you guys can see the steam coming out I'm gonna turn it off because I don't want it to go on my camera but it produces a lot of steam it's really nice and when I bought this it actually also came with like a little bonus like gift set thing it had like one of those um, a headband that you can put around your head to keep your hair back like when you're doing your skincare as well as like a full extraction kit that you can use if you want to do extractions on your skin at home for totally free so I was like oh okay and again 22 bucks like I honestly thought all right if it works like a couple times great if not it's $22, like it's pretty cheap, but I have had this for probably at least six months, if not like closer to a year. And again, I use this at least once a week. Most weeks probably use it more than that. Um, I also like to use it if I'm gonna go in and like dermaplane my face, like go in with those little facial razors and get off all the peach fuzz and like dead skin and stuff. I like to steam my skin first so it's nice and soft before I do that. This little baby gets a ton of use and is an absolute, absolute must have. I think it's a steal. There are a lot on Amazon that are a bit more expensive, but I will link, or at least do my best to link this exact one because I have had no issues with it. It's very easy to use and I highly recommend it. I love it. Okay, up next we have some jewelry. Amazon honestly has super, super cute jewelry. So I have these two rings. I wear these a lot in my videos and they are like those infinity rings. Like you see like Kylie Jenner and the Kardashians have like hands full, like every single finger has them on. And like, I mean, these are very, very expensive because they have diamonds that go all the way around. Like if you are to get them real. So I opt for the Amazon version and these are super cute. It actually came in a two pack. So you can stack them together or you can wear them separately. Like if you wanted to do like on, you know, each finger or whatever. You know, you could do that or you can stack them up on the one finger, but I really, really like these. And for the price, I think they're really cute. I have lost one stone on each of them and it's this one right here. So I feel like it's always the one on the bottom because I hit my hand on a lot of stuff. And that's always gonna happen really with any infinity ring um, because again, the diamonds do go all the way around. Even if it's real, they will fall out. But I've had these for over a year now. So I feel like since I only lost that one, it's not that bad. And especially for the price, let me look up the exact price I paid for these because it was not a lot of money. It's saying $15.99 now. I think when I bought them, they were only 12 and I lied they don't come in a set they do come separately so um, I just ordered two of them so you can just get one on your own or you can get both of them but I feel like for the price I'm like okay that I only lost one stone but I did just want to put that out there to you guys I think they're cute I wear them all the time and for the price I really don't think that you can beat them continuing on the diamond trend I guess I'll include this right now this is such a beautiful bracelet so this is a tennis bracelet I actually saw I want to say it was Jaclyn Hill somebody had one of these and I'm sure if it was like Jaclyn Hill, which I think it was, um, I'm sure hers is probably real, but this I think is so, so beautiful. I actually wore this at my wedding. I really wanted like a tennis bracelet to wear at my wedding. I think that they're really, really beautiful, very classic pieces, just, you know, with the full diamonds going all the way around. And this one is so, so beautiful. These diamonds are very shiny. You know, I don't know how it's going to translate on camera, but in person, they're very, very beautiful, very shiny. Um, this fits my wrist really, really nicely. And this was super, super cheap. Again, like this would be 
thousands upon thousands of dollars if it was real because these are pretty big diamonds. Yeah, oh my gosh, you guys, this was $12.98. You couldn't even go to Claire's and get this. Like, it'd be more expensive at Claire's. And this is really, really nice. Like, it's very nice quality. And it does not turn your wrist green. A lot of times, like, cheapy kind of jewelry will turn your wrist green or your fingers green. I haven't had that experience with either of the products that I showed you guys, the two um, jewelry products. Haven't turned my skin green or anything like that. And I really, really love this. I wear it a lot. Like I said, I literally wore it to my wedding. It actually says in here these are cubic zirconia, so maybe that's why they look a little bit better because that's kind of like a high quality fake diamond. Um, and it does say that it's platinum plated. I don't know, it's probably like this much platinum if it's, you know, only 12 bucks. But honey, I rock this all the time. It's super cute. I'm going to leave it on right now because I'm going to wear it today. But for $12, you really can't beat it. It does come in a variety of lengths as well. And it does come in gold and rose gold. I just opted for the platinum one, um, like the more silver one. I just like the way that looks like with diamonds. But I love this bracelet and I wear it all the time. Okay, up next we're gonna switch gears to a snack, okay? These are like my favorite snack of all time. So I don't really like candy, I don't really like sweets. Like I'm not like a big like chocolate person or anything like that, but I do really like gummies. I always have, like growing up I like loved those fruit snacks. My mom would always put them in my lunch and stuff. But most of them do have a lot of sugar and stuff, um, but I've been really trying to watch my sugar intake. I find that I feel a lot better when I eat less sugary foods. So I've really tried to make a conscious effort to minimize my sugar intake. Um, but these little guys make it so much easier. I'm sure you guys have probably heard about these. If you haven't, I'm about to change your whole world. So this brand is called Smart Sweets. You can get these in a variety of places. You can get them in store at Whole Foods, although a lot of times they're sold out, at least at mine. You can get them at like workout places like Vitamin Shop and GNC and stuff, but the cheapest place that I always find is Amazon to get these on. They're always a lot cheaper. I buy them in bulk in 12 packs on Amazon. They have a lot of different flavors. These are my three favorites. They have these ones, which are the Sweet Fish. So these taste just like Swedish Fish, except this whole pack is only 80 calories and only three total sugars. They're plant-based, they're naturally flavored, and they're super, super high in fiber. There's 28 grams of fiber in these, so that's a lot of fiber. Um, so every single night before I go to bed, I have one of these, because when I'm sitting down like on the couch, I do like to snack on something like as dessert, and these are literally perfect, because they're not a ton of calories, they're not a ton of sugar, but they taste really, really good. They are pricey though. Um, with most like specialty foods like this, they are kind of expensive. So for a 12 count of these, it's $32.99 on Amazon. So they're about $2.75 per pack, but if you were to buy them like in store at like a GNC or something, they're a lot more, like I think they're like close to $3 a pack and the same thing at Whole Foods. So you're definitely gonna get them cheaper on Amazon. And again, I, I can't recommend these enough. So I love these ones, the fish ones. Then they have like the classic little gummy bear ones. These are just like the fruity ones. These taste just like those Haribro or whatever the brand is, like gummies. If you like gummies, but you're trying to eat a little bit healthier, highly, highly recommend. And the last ones that I really like, these are newer. These are the peach rings. And these ones taste just like those peach ring candies. So if you like the peach ring candies, these are great. Highly, highly, highly recommend. They do have varying prices on Amazon, which is weird. Um, like the gummy bear ones, these ones were only $28.62 for the 12 pack. So they were a little bit cheaper. But for the 12 pack, it's always gonna run you between about $25 on the low end to like $32-ish on the high end. But again, if you were to buy it in store, it would be like $35 to $40 for a 12 pack. So I always order in bulk from Amazon and I can't have enough of these. I can't recommend them enough. They're so good. Like I'm telling you, they're, they're really good. My next favorite is is the wet brush. So I have used this for years and years and years and years and years. Any hairdresser will tell you, you cannot brush your hair when it's wet because it's gonna cause breakage. It's too abrasive to brush through your hair when it's wet. So they always suggest to like use a comb, but like nobody has time for that. I feel like if I was to use a comb to brush all of this hair when it was wet, like I would literally be in the bathroom for another hour after I got out of the shower, just trying to comb through my hair with like this little comb. Thank goodness somebody made the wet brush. I've used this literally since it first started to come out. Um, the bristles are a lot more like movable on these. They're a lot more bendy so it is less abrasive to your hair and they do say that it is safe to be used on your hair when your hair is wet. So you don't have to worry about having to comb it all out. You can still use a brush. It's quick. It's easy. It's literally going to take like one second but it will gently get any knots out of your hair and get it all nice and smooth even when it's wet so you don't have to worry about damaging your hair by using a traditional brush. You can get these at Ulta. You can get these a lot of different places. You can get them in different drugstores like I think CVS, Rite Aid and stuff but they're a lot more expensive. Like I want to say at Ulta they're like 30 or 14 bucks where you can find these on Amazon for like six or seven dollars like literally almost half price so whenever I need a new one I always just jump to Amazon to get one because they're always a lot cheaper I do get a new one probably at least every year because again because the bristles are a little bit more bendable and there's more give to it this one I feel like is on the outs like a lot of these are like really bending so I do buy a new one every year but again they're not like super super expensive and I always get them on Amazon because they're a lot cheaper so I would highly recommend up next I have an interesting favorite so I know a lot of people that get some really cute clothes on 
Amazon. I was never somebody that like ordered a bunch of clothes on Amazon. I don't know. But believe it or not, my favorite jeans are from Amazon and they're so cheap. Like they're literally like $25 and they are these jeans right here. I literally wear them all the time. I have like a bunch of them. These are just the black ones, um, but they come in like a variety of different like shades. Like you can get like blue jeans, dark blue, light blue, black, gray, um, tan, but they are this brand, the vibrant brand. They are a bit high waisted and they are skinny jeans, but they just hit your body right where they should. Like some high waisted jeans don't hit right at that smallest part of your waist. And then I feel like they just kind of hit it a weird spot like they're not low rise but they're like also like they should be a little bit higher at least on me where I feel like these hit right at that smallest part of my waist so they really cinch in the waist they look really nice and they're very stretchy they're very comfortable they have a lot of give to them it almost feels like you're wearing leggings but they are thick and they do keep their shape really really well especially for jeans that are 25 bucks so I love this brand but this brand is a wholesaler like you can get vibrant jeans like at random boutiques and stuff you might be able to find them but I always just get them directly on Amazon I absolutely love them they remind me a lot of the Fashion Nova jeans I actually think a while ago, Fashion Nova did have vibrant brand jeans, like when they first started. Don't quote me on that because I'm not sure, but they're very similar, but I do actually like these better. They're a bit thicker than the Fashion Nova jeans, and they do have belt loops in them too. Like a lot of jeans I find that are like this, they're like those high-waisted skinny jeans. I think Fashion Nova, they don't have belt loops. So you can't wear a belt with them. Where with these, if you do want to wear a belt, like a little decorative belt or whatever, you can. So highly, highly recommend these. Again, 25 bucks, like, and they fit true to size as well. You could maybe even size down just because they do have a lot of stretch. If you want them to be like super tight, you could size down a little bit, but I love them and I wear them all the time. Up next, I have to give a shout out. I wasn't going to include this just because it's such a makeup product and like I've used this in so many videos, but it is an Amazon product. This is the House Labs lip gloss in the shade Venus. This is like my favorite lip gloss ever. I'm gonna put a little bit on right now. It's so good, it's such a pretty color. It's like a pinky nude, it's beautiful. It lasts a really long time, but it's not super sticky. This is from Lady Gaga's brand, which is House Labs. So when she launched, she basically launched exclusive to Amazon, which I thought was really interesting. I feel like she was like the first makeup brand that I knew of at least to do that. You know, a lot of times we see like Sephora exclusives or Ulta exclusives, but that was the first time of me seeing an Amazon exclusive. So I was a little bit nervous. I was like, I don't know, because I don't normally buy makeup up on Amazon like I'm definitely an in-store kind of gal go to Sephora go to Ulta go to the drugstores like I like to do that but this lip gloss is really really good I think House Labs has their own website but then the only other retailer you can get it on is Amazon it's fast shipping you know with Prime it's literally like next day or two day and this really is my favorite lip gloss so I wanted to throw it in there because it is definitely an Amazon favorite and something I use all the time you guys know that if you watch a lot of my other videos so this next favorite is kind of random this is only gonna be of interest to people that have lash extensions but um, a lot of times when I get lash extensions I'll get them before I go on a vacation but then I won't consistently get them filled once I'm home like when I'm home I like to use falsies like I have on today so I don't consistently keep them on I really only get them when I travel but once they start like growing out and getting a little scraggly because I'm not filling them in they look really bad like I'll have like two or three little lashes left on but a lot of times like even if you only have a couple lashes left on if you go to a salon like they're gonna charge you like 30 or 40 dollars to get them taken off like I think actually the place I went to get them taken off like charge me like 45 bucks and I was like okay I was literally in your chair for like three seconds but all right so I looked on Amazon to see if they had like lash extension remover and I found this one this is EB lashes gel remover it was like eight dollars for this whole tube and I actually just used this last week to remove lash extensions that I had on and it worked like a charm they all came off it took me a little bit longer like I want to say it took like 20 minutes but I actually had like almost a full set of lashes left on I will say it does sting your eyes so don't open your eyes once this is on it comes with like instructions so as long as you read the instructions you'll be fine um, but it took all the lashes off it was super quick it was super easy and it was not pulling out my natural lashes when I did it which is what my biggest concern was it was just the lash extension coming off my natural lashes were left on my natural lashes are really damaged already just from lash extensions um, so I didn't want to further damage them by trying to remove them but this was really just removing the lash extensions like I could see them coming off but my natural lashes staying on so I did want to put this in here because it saved me a lot of money than having to go back to that same place and pay $45 to have them removed. Okay, this next thing is a new purchase and literally the coolest thing ever. So this is like a little tripod. So it's like a tabletop setup right now, but then it can actually go like really high. Um, and you put your phone right in here. So let me show you guys, put it for you so you can see. Your phone can just go right in there. And then this is like a little ring light. You do have to plug it in. So let me plug it in for you guys to show you. There's a little thing on here that you can use to turn it on. So then the ring light turns on and then you can dim it if you want to dim it down 
like so. I feel like on camera you can't really see that it's dim, but it's a lot dimmer. <laughs> if you guys see now, bringing in the brightness back up. And you can also change the settings. Cool light, more warmer light. So it's really, really cool. So I'm just gonna turn it off now, but it's really, really cool and you can put your phone, it's actually supposed to be like this, but then there's like a little thing here that you can change it and like move your phone all around if you want to. There's like a little pin in the back. I don't have it super tight now, but you can move your phone to however you want it to be and it'll hold your phone steady for you. So this is major, major key. If you create social media content, yourself this is great for like Instagram stories it's great for TikTok. you could even honestly film like YouTube videos with this it's literally amazing and I've been looking for something like this for a while and I saw something at B&H photo which is where I get a lot of like my lighting and camera equipment and stuff for YouTube and I think it was like 60 or 70 bucks where this one was like $25 on Amazon so I took a chance on it and when it got here I was like oh my gosh like that's really really good I think it's nice quality so I have really 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 been loving this even if you don't make social media content you just want to take like some really bomb selfies with a nice little ring light, I would highly recommend. This was a newer purchase and so far I have really, really been liking it. Okay, last but not least, this is something that it's a little dirty because Steven and I literally use this all the time. Like I probably use this at least once per day, but this is our air fryer, okay? This is the best thing ever. If you don't have an air fryer, you need one. The brand on this is Koiz it's right there. Cosnia? I don't know. We got it on Amazon. It was affordable. Um, because some of those air fryers can be expensive, okay? We literally use this to cook everything. It's kind of heavier. I would like hold it up longer to show you guys. Basically anything that you would like cook in the oven can be cooked in this or anything that like you would normally like to like fry. You can cook in this and it's basically going to give you that fried taste to your food, but it doesn't use any oil. Like it somehow just uses the air and the pressure to fry it. So I literally put everything in this. You can put chicken, you can put salmon, potatoes. I put like frozen vegetables or fresh vegetables, Brussels sprouts, and it's going to give that like nice brown look to your food. It's going to taste so much better and it cooks your food a lot faster too. Like I can cook chicken in this and like I don't know, probably like eight minutes where it would take like a lot longer in the oven. So we love this. We literally use it all the time. So this is probably the most expensive thing that I included today. I want to say it was like a little bit over $100, but there are a lot of air fryers that are a lot more expensive. And this one I think works great. It also has a very big little like thing that you can put the food in, like in here. It can definitely hold a lot of food. So they do come in a variety of different sizes, but I will link this one down here for two people. It's more than enough space because some air fryers are pretty small. So highly, highly recommend this. It's very very, very good. And it's going to make your food taste as if it was fried, but it's a lot healthier. Alrighty, you guys. So those are all of my Amazon favorites. I'll have everything linked down below to the best of my ability. I hope I can still find everything, but I think I should be able to. So definitely check down below in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll see you very soon in my next video.